G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Lovely to have you here. I am just going to get started stirring in some of my gold leaf while I talk to you. Try and get them to be separated. Now, um, I have this new mould. It's the Shapes mould. So, basically, I think you could use it for... <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm making a mess here. Um, Keychains or gorgeous little things to hang off your handbag. You know when you're looking for something really pretty, a little blingy to, to go on your handbag, your purse? <laughs> I think this would be perfect. So I want to do really classic colours. I've got a big lump there, I'm just going to take that out. White and gold white and gold I think that sort of suits a lot of people um, I don't want to make my gold like too thick I'm going to pop the lid back on that just because my air conditioner's on and I got gold flying everywhere so just gold flakes try and break them up a little bit so as you can see there's lots of different shapes oh my gosh and they've already got the little hole in them for you to hang something by so that's just my gold flakes and then I'm going to put some white pigment paste into this. Um, I, I still want it to be quite quite transparent so I don't want to use a lot. This is Angel White by Lores. Just I just grabbed any white paste. I might have to put some more in though because I just I want to make it Kind of like milk. I, I, I want to be able to still see through it, but I want it to still be white. You know what I mean? So I'd have to put a little bit more in. So basically, yeah, white and, and gold. Um, and then I'm going to do a little extra, a little bit of extra fun thing for you as well. So I've been really into the crystals at the moment, you know, the druzy crystals and things like that. A little bit more white in there so yeah just following along those lines I want to add a little bit of crystal bling to these how's that looking it looks deceptive when it's in the big cup because you know it's darker so have a look you now because it's deep so it looks darker but you can have a look and see what it's going to look like on your stick maybe a little bit more if you do want a, a more sort of a transparent look, just add your white slowly. Because you can't take it back <laughs> once it's in there. <laughs> you can't. Nope. <clears throat> All right. I think that will do. Oh, gosh. No. A little bit more. I actually wanted some, um, I wanted to use white mica powder because I wanted to have like a shimmer, but... Do you think I could find a white shimmer mica powder? Nope. All I could find was like a matte white or a, a shimmer in a like a pearl. Couldn't get a shimmer white. I'm gonna have to have to look into it a little bit more, I think. Alright, I think that'll do. Let's not worry about that too much. Okay, so what I want to do is each of these little cavities I want to do half white and half with my gold now what I thought I would do is rather than try and pour out of these cups these plastic cups I'm just going to put some in here half fill that I am using my platinum 360 plus and I really didn't know how much to make up so I just I just did a cup full I did 175 of grams of part A and 75 grams of part B and that gave me um, you know, 250 grams so about a cup and I figured these take maybe half an ounce each like 15 grams each let's move these off, off to the side for a minute okay here we go so move that away I don't need that just yet so basically I'm just going to pour half half And just see how we go they don't have to be exact doesn't matter if one's got a bit more than the other I'm just gonna put a bit in each first and then we'll come back and see you know which one needs a bit more I 
Um, yeah, I'm hoping these are going to be really pretty because <laughs> they're only little things, you know. It's hard to hard to come up with something pretty for you know little little things like this. You know, it's it's different when you're doing big coasters. Um, you know, you, you've got I think more choice as what you can do with them. But when it comes to doing these little ones, I don't think there's as much choice. All right, I'm just going to put more more into those. Oh, looking cute so far. And then a bit later on, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these afterwards. Hopefully they'll be really pretty. I'm excited to do them. I love doing different, different things. There's my heart. So as you can see, we've got lots of different shapes. Now this one up here needs more, more gold. So I'll just kind of pick that out a little bit. So you don't want to, I think, you don't want to sort of overfill them too much at the beginning because, you know, like this one, I think it needs a little bit more gold, so I'll add that. Um, so yeah, you don't want to overfill them too much, otherwise you might not have room to add extra bits and pieces. just want to make sure they've all got enough gold. Some of them have got like big clumps of gold, so, you know, sometimes that doesn't break up properly and I'd rather take the big clump out rather than leave it in there because they're, they're the gold leaves and they they kind of come stuck together um, and they don't always break up very well so rather than stand there and, and separate gold leaves which is going to take a while I'd rather just put them in and then if I see some big chunks I can I can take them out, so I'd rather do that. Alrighty, um, I'm just going to put a little bit more into my little cups. And then just give them a little top-ups here and there, for those that need it. Alright, who wants more? Hands up. A bit more white in that one. A bit more white in there. They don't have to be... You know, totally half half, just however they come. Oops, you could do with a bit more gold. I'm dripping. Just whatever you like really if you want more white then go for more white or if you want more gold then go for more gold go for gold up oh, I'm dripping everywhere oh gosh you're a bit full yes you are you're full you're full let's get some of that out best way to get some out I find is just pop a paper towel over the top and let it soak some resin out How's that looking? Not making too much of a mess, I hope. All right, now I'm going to get a baby wipe and put a bit of alcohol on it. Spray a bit of alcohol on it and then I can just clean up my mould anywhere I've dripped. It's much easier to clean it off now than it is to try and pick off dried resin later on. All right, now this one where I've added a bit much. I'm going to try and take some of that clear out. And then I just need to put a little bit more white in there. Like so. Alright. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so now um, I'm just going to have a little bit more of a fiddle. Uh, make sure that I've got enough in all of them. Um, and then we need to wait for the next step. So the next step will happen in about mm, three hours, I guess. You just want to wait until this is tacky um, so that you can kind of touch it without it sticking to you, but still a little bit, a little bit sticky, all right? So I'm going to add, continue to add just a little bit more to some of these. 
and I'm going to do with a little bit more. Kind of half half, but not doesn't have to be exact. We'll see if how much <laughs> if I've made up the correct amount eh, of resin. Be interesting to see if one cup is going to be enough. A cup of resin, and yeah, I don't want like a definite line between them, so I'm happy to you know put a little bit more here and there, and um, you know push the white across or push the clear across. I may have to add a little bit more gold leaf to a couple of them but uh, that's basically what I'm going to do who wants more a bit more so yeah all right uh, I will see you uh, when this has had a chance to set okay right these have set up probably um, they're not tacky anymore at all <laughs> Oh, I kind of forgot about them. I was doing something else and making moulds and having lunch and anyway, they're, they're set, which it doesn't matter at all. They just have to be not, not soft. And that little bit that I had left over, um, I did a little puffy heart with. So we'll unmould that one later on when we unmould these. Now, next step. I told you I was really into these druzies and crystals and things at the moment. So I want to add that to, to these. I have mixed up just a little bit of resin. This is the Platinum 360 Plus again. Um, I only need a tiny bit. This is probably too much. I did 20 grams of A, 10 grams of B, and I think it's going to be too much. I'm just going to, whoops, I'm dripping. I'm just going to pop half of it in there. It's about equal. Half of it in there. Look, I've made a mess already and I've just started. Gosh! I can't see where my white mold starts and where my my white keychain ends. <laughs> All right, let's just move that over there. Um, I have got some gold crushed glass or bits of metal or whatever they are, and I've also got some um, crushed mirror. Now you know how you get the the bits of mirror and they're in that tall bottle. Um, what I do is I put them through a sieve and these smaller parts fall through the sieve and then the bigger parts are used for something else. So this is the smaller parts. I just thought I didn't want those really big chunky ones on such small pendants. So this is what we're going to do, okay? Yeah, are you ready? We're going to pour some of these in here. Like so. And we're going to pour about... Not as much as that, a little bit of these in here. We don't want too many, we'll see how that looks first. So basically what I want to do is, um, I just want to make a paste. So this is still, it's too, it's too wet because the stones are just going to all sort of melt away into it. So I need to add more, and I've got plenty here. So. Add more we just want a thick paste we don't want it to be too wet otherwise you're not even going to see the the glass um, all you're going to see is resin flat resin and you want to see you want to see those little peaks and mounds and things like that look at that <laughs> see what I mean it's nice and nice and thick and chunky um, but you want it wet enough that each little piece has been uh, wet by the resin but not so wet that it just you know smooths out and makes a little puddle if you know what I mean um, just having a look at it I might put a bit more in I have got more resin here so if I just if I end up putting too much in I can always add a little bit more resin but yeah I want it quite quite chunky because what I said to you you're not going to need much resin at all and I think this would be a really fun technique to do on, on anything. Like, I'm definitely going to be doing this on some coasters. Um, I also have some ideas of what other things that I want to do this to. So, yeah, stay tuned. You'll have to keep your eyes open. Uh, keep your eyes peeled, as they say, um, to my videos coming up because I'm going to do this technique on different things. All right. Oh, my gosh. What's that? Dripping, dropping glitter. What is that? 
purple glitter. Yeah, got it. <laughs> There's always glitter somewhere, isn't there, <laughs> in a studio? There's always glitter. <gasps> All right, now, um, gosh, now it looks a bit too thick. <laughs> I'm like Goldilocks. It's too thin, and it was too thick. Anyway, let's let's just make a start. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this because it's all clumped. It's all clumped now. I'm just going to um, put a little bit on there. Just, just a little bit. Higgledy piggledy. Higgledy piggledy. <laughs> just like that. Just, just however it comes out, okay? I think it's going to be really pretty. I don't want to do too much. Some bits are going to have it sort of on the side. Some will have it sort of on the corner. I might do one that's sort of half there, half there. Um, yeah, just to just to change it up a little bit. Don't worry too much if any of it goes over onto your silicone mold. Um, it'll just come off later. And look, I've made it too too dry. <laughs> I've added this tiny bit. I need it to kind of drop off my stick. All right, are we ready? Let's do some more. Now I haven't I haven't had given these any pre-thought as to where things were going. Um, I just I just thought oh, I'm just going to make it up and um, we'll just we'll just see how it goes when I when I get to it. So I kind of want to make it like a little bit sort of thinning out on the edges here, like this. Again, I can't see where my can't see where my mold's ending. <laughs> like so I think that's it <laughs> I think that's it all right now I'm not going to bore you with um, going through every particular one um, but um, you know as, as I, I'll do a couple and then I'll kind of speed it up and and uh, we'll go through and um, you can see me do all of them but basically this is what I'm going to see how they're not coming off they're sticking to my stick so that's telling me I need a little bit more resin I do want them to just drop off the stick Otherwise, it's going to take me forever if I have to keep pushing every little piece off the stick. You know what I mean? So let's try that. Look, it's just it's just trial and error. If you if you decide you're going to do this, and you know, I'm quite happy if you do want to try my techniques, go for it. Just going to take a little bit of a little bit of practice. There we go. And I don't want them all to be flat. Like I want some areas a bit raised and some then lower and so on and so on. Just so it looks like, it looks quite natural. All right, I'm still not getting them off my stick though. Oh, he's dropping, but slowly. All righty. <laughs> all right, do you get the general idea about what we're doing here? Might like drop a bit on and then use this. I think the a slightly smaller point might be easier just to kind of spread those around. This one I want it just along the bottom here in the in these two points like so. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be a perfectionist doing this you guys. <laughs> just just get it in there. <laughs> yeah. I think I like I think I like how it sort of comes around the corner there. It's more than like two points. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Go up the side there a little bit. It's still sticking to my stick. Sticking to my stick. Now I'm just going to thin out this edge on the down here. And it can be a little bit more chunky in the middle, but I just want these two little edges here to be a little bit more sort of thinned out and, and narrowed a little bit, if, if you know what I mean. If, you know, like a like a moon shape, thinner on the ends and then thicker in the middle. Um, and you can come along afterwards if you want to and, you know, make them a little bit higher if you want to. But because this is a keychain, it doesn't have to be, it's not like a coaster, it has to be totally flat. So, you know, it can, it can be a little bit more raised on one side. Oh, my gosh, you guys. These are going to be amazing, amazing. They are amazing. All right, put that on, and then I'm going to use my little 
stick you could use a toothpick whatever you like This one's quite a, a bigger piece. I might go up into this. Trying not to get them like too, too symmetrical. I <laughs> can't pick anything up with this. <laughs> oh gosh. Kind of spilt a bit there when I first started, so I think I better put it back so you don't see a, a mark on your clear resin. Oh look, this works too. This, this works. We'll, we'll figure it out, okay? So that's going to go into there into this little corner and then it'll just kind of drift away into that corner like that. I think that looks pretty. All right, I'm going to put you on fast forward and uh, I'll see you at the end once these have had a chance to cure and then we'll unmold them and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So exciting.
it's the next day. These are all set and oh my gosh, I am in love with them, you guys. In love with them. I think they just look so good. And I think they'll look even better once we take them out uh, because then we'll be able to see the transparency of them, you know, because at the moment you're looking at them on a, a white mold. So we'll just get them all out real quick. Like so. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Do you have a favourite shape? There's lots to choose from in here. Oh, there we go. Nearly there, nearly there. And I'll get the puffy heart out as well. And then we can look at them all. There we go. There's not much to clean up on my mould. Just a couple of little little bits of crushed glass here and there. But not, not too bad. There we go. <laughs> all right. Let's move that off to the side. And see what we've got. Look at that. See, you can see through them now. Onto that sort of grey background there. Are they all in, in film there? In shot? Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. They're so cool. All right. All right, let's get the puffy out as well. And we're going to have a look at that one too. I don't think I've ever done a puffy that's got half white and half gold. Oh, I can see through the back the white's slipped around a bit. So the white, I guess, being heavier, it's... Can't really tell on that side, but you can see down underneath that it's slipped underneath. But there you go. Cool. Anyway, we've got half half of the little loop, the bale, with the clear and half with the white. So there you go. That's it. All right. Now, moving on to these. What I want to do is, this is the fun part. I'm going to use my Deco Color Pen. I've also got this one, um, Pen Touch, but... This is the difference in the colour. That's the pen touch. And this is the Deco colour. This one, I mean, they both look gold, but that one's more of a, a greeny gold. And that one's more of a beigey gold. So it depends on what you want to do, really. But I think I'm going to use this one. Although I should use the other one because I've got a whole heap of them. So what I want to do, make sure that you shake it so that you can hear the little ball. And... What I'm going to do, oh, there's a oh, tiny little bit of sanding there I need to do. Let me just grab that little bit there. Because it's gone sort of up the side of the mould a little bit when I was pushing the white around. Just give it a little gentle sanding. I just, I just use a nail file. It's easy. Okay. That's it. Now what I want to do is I want to go, oops, <laughs> I want to go, I will do the whole side, but for now I just want to do the, the top little edge because that's where the magic happens when you do the top edge. I've got my little bit of card there to push on to get the colour to come down. I'm going to go around there like so. It's a bit of a fiddly job doing all of these. So what I'll do is I'll I'll do one, but then I'll go and I'll go and sit over there at my desk with a cuppa. I'll go and make myself a coffee. Actually, Dave will probably make me a coffee. <laughs> now what I want to do is I want to I want to pick up just the tips of these. You've, if you've been following me, you would have seen me do these before on my Druzy pendants. I'm going to go around and I'm just going to do the tips. Just to kind of join this side to that side because you can see the top there and I want to see the top of the gold on this side as well. So I'm going to just paint the tops of these little crystals on this side. And there we go. And then we join it back to there. And then you can decide if you want to do some more. I might do a little bit more I'm just on the tippy tops there. It's up to you, you know, how thick you kind of want to make it. You might want to put a little bit more on a few of them and less on some of the others. Just, just depends on the look that you're going for. I 
I'll make this little line a little bit thicker. But yeah, it's probably best, uh, easier, not best, easier, I guess, to just go and do it at the, at the table uh, when you're sitting down and you can put these down on something. Just trying to get that even. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? I just, I just love it. I am in love with it. So it's up to you if you want to do the, you know, the whole side as well. Uh, that would take a little bit longer. I would suggest that you wait until the tops are dry before you go ahead and do the sides, just so that you're not going to get not going to risk getting that gold paint on your fingers because once you've got it on your fingers like that it's very easy to then just you know touch the white side and then you're getting the gold on the white and so yeah just do all the sides first and then come back and do all the tops or do all the tops first and then come back and do all the sides otherwise you might you might be in a bit of trouble and this gold pen doesn't come off very easily you need to use acetate not acetate acetone no polish remover. So yeah, you've got to be careful. So do it in two stages. Um, and if, if you wanted to, obviously, um, instead of putting, uh, if you're not a gold person, instead of putting gold in with that crushed um, glass, you could just, I mean, you could just leave it as crushed glass. You could put silver in there and then edge them with silver. You could put black in here, maybe pink and silver. Look, there's so many different things you could do with it. Now, I'm going to go and get my little keychain um, and we'll pop that on there. I'll just put that, put that down for a minute. I actually need to get myself some little jewelry tools. You know, I've, I've got this. <laughs> It was in my toolbox, but um, it's not it's not ideal. But I will I will have to get myself something. So I've got these. I've got a set in silver and a set in gold. So they come with the little chain, um, and then I've also got these ones. They're just plain. Um, but you probably actually I need to go and get a smaller one for that. Because what you need to do is you need to put a small um, loop, I don't know what it's called, sorry, <laughs> um, onto the end of that and then you thread it through that. And then I've got these so it can be easily attached like that so that you can easily attach that to your bag. Just pop that in there. It's easy to do with a nail but with the smaller ones it's not so easy to do with a nail. These ones here you kind of, I find you need the little the little tool just to to open those. This is where my this is where I, this is where I need my other tools. I'm going to have to, whoops, I'm going to have to order myself some little jewellery tools. I know you're probably all laughing at me but Anyway, you need to open that, that little bit there, so that you can put another ring through it. Um, I didn't get it. I'm going to have to go and get my other little rings. Hang on. I thought I had some smaller uh, gold ones, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> these are the ones I was thinking of. There's lots of different sizes, but I've only got them in silver, so probably the size I would need. Anyway, um, I'll just use one of the bigger ones for now and I will have to order myself some of those. I didn't realise I didn't have any. <laughs> Everything's been moved from my studio since I moved into my new studio. Everything's been moved around. So I don't know what I've got. Anyway, we'll just, we'll just use this one for now just so we can see what it's going to look like. Okay, let's pop that through there. Actually, I didn't need to close. I didn't need to open that, did I? I could have just popped it through there. Yes, that would have made more sense. Let's close that back up again. Because I've already got that open, so I could have just hooked it through there. Close that. Look, you get the general idea, don't you? I know it looks a bit odd because it's so big, but that's... 
<laughs> I'll have to get myself some smaller ones. Never mind. All right, and then if you wanted to, you could go crazy and add some of these. I think the oh look at that. That that's a nice match, isn't it? I've got lots of different colours. I've also got a set of these in uh, in the silver as well. So if you wanted to, you could add that. It's a shame though that they're different golds. Like this gold on here matches my edges really well. This gold here is really quite a yellow gold. I wonder if they make them in different different colour golds. Probably not. I don't know, I'd have to have a look. So anyway, you could add as much or as little bling as you wanted to. Let's add that onto there, see what that looks like. There you go. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, I think it's really cute, except for this big thing here. Never mind. We'll just pretend it's a little one, okay? Anyway, there you go. That's that's basically what you can do with these and I think it looks I think it looks really really pretty what do you think let me know what you think of it let me know what you think of these the crystals it adds a bit of extra dimension doesn't it because it's got that bit of height on it look at that a little bit of extra height to it a little bit of a little bit of bling something a bit different to just a flat coaster so there you go I love it. Now I've got to do the rest. <laughs> I've got to do the rest of them, but there's no point. I'll, I'll have to wait until I've got um, some smaller ones of this. But I'll I'll cover them in. I'll do the edges in gold, uh, and then I'll put up a photo. I just won't attach all of these because I don't think there's any point until I've got the smaller uh, little rings. All right. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Give this a try. It's it's not a difficult technique. Um, and I think you get really, really beautiful results, don't you? So there you go. That's it with the gold. That's without the gold. I think the gold just, just makes it. It is gorgeous. And uh, you can have a go at doing these puffy hearts as well. I might have to do a video on doing these. These are so gorgeous. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'm off to have a coffee and do all the painting on the edges. So I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.